Day is coming up soon, and today we will tell you how to create a romantic mood for yourself and your partner, as well as how to decorate your house for the holiday. We'll print out a love confession with a clothespin, turn candies into angels, and make valentines in the form of cute little owls. For the first life hack, you need a red wire and a light bulb. Bend the wire to form a heart. Make two hearts and fasten them to a wooden cube. Take the inner parts of a light bulb and cover the heart design with it. Fasten a message of love. A lovely romantic souvenir will warm the hearts of lovers with its light. It looks very unique. And now we'll tell you what you can make from your favorite candy. Knead out a piece of light clay. Roll it into a ball and fasten it to the candy. Attach two smaller balls. Fold a yellow thread several times. Use a hot glue gun to attach the thread to the clay ball. Draw eyes and a mouth. Cut out wings from a foam rubber sheet. Glue them to the angel. Draw some sheet music and hand it to the angel. Now you don't just have candy, but a whole trio of funny angels. They're so cute! For this life hack, you need a frame. Print out a map and cut out hearts from it. Fasten them to the frame with the help of Elmer's glue. The first location is the place you met, and the second one is the place where you had your first kiss. Attach labels. Make a dotted line with an arrow. Gift the frame with maps instead of a valentine. A romantic gift will make you remember how your love story began and give you a moment of pleasant nostalgia. What's the best way to give someone a ring? There's more than one. The most important thing is that the gift comes from the heart. You'll need a lot of boxes, every size you can find. First, take a tiny box, fill it with bright sequins, and hide the ring in it. Wrap the box with wrapping paper. Pour sequins into a bigger box too. Close it and wrap it. Repeat the same thing with a slightly larger box. Now put this box in an even larger box. Carefully pack each of the layers, adding glitter and confetti. Choose wrapping paper with different prints to make the process of unpacking even more exciting. Finally, we have reached the biggest box. Put the gift in it. Tie it up with a red ribbon. Present the gift to your sweetheart. The box has a very impressive look, so they surely won't think that the gift is too small. And unwrapping it is already so much fun that it might be even more valuable than the ring. This is a real surprise. She definitely didn't expect to find a ring in this box. Here's what you can make out of red ribbon and thread. Cut off some of the ribbon and fold it in half. Fasten a piece of double-sided tape on each end. Glue the circles around the edges. Connect them with the help of double-sided tape. You will need as many of these hearts as possible. Fasten the hearts to the thread with a hot glue gun. Tie paper hearts in the shape of a big heart. A garland for Valentine's Day is ready. It looks very romantic. And for the next life hack, you need a piece of cardboard and a pen. Cut an arrow out of cardboard. Color it with a black marker around the edges. Bend it lengthwise. Make double cuts. Insert the pen in the loops. Make several of these pens and give them to all your pretty classmates. Whoever gets one of these unusual valentines will definitely appreciate a small gift in the form of Cupid's arrow. It's a lovely and useful surprise. For another idea, find your favorite photo of the two of you. Print it out.
it is better to use thick paper. Make marks on the photo with a pen. Draw large puzzle pieces. Cut along the lines and mix the pieces. Print out another photograph and put it in the package. Put the rest of the pieces in too. Of course, the best way to assemble this puzzle is together. Next up is a life hack with a piece of cardboard. Draw a dotted heart. Drill through the holes. Next, you need a Christmas garland. Insert the light bulbs in the holes. Place the cardboard in a frame. The result is a beautiful lamp. A light up DIY heart made for your beloved will be a very memorable Valentine's Day gift. And now you need a cardboard tube, scrapbook paper, and some decor. Cover the tube with pink paper. Fold the edge inwards. Fasten eyes and a yellow beak. Draw wings on a piece of red felt. Cut it out. Glue the wings to your owl. Apply hot glue and sprinkle it with sequins. Fasten a love note between the wings. Make another loving owl. How's that for a valentine? The owls turned out just amazing. When you are in love, you want to hold hands with your soulmate all the time. But in the cold February wind, your hands get cold almost immediately. We will teach you how to keep your hands warm. You will need two mittens, one men's, one woman's. Cut off the tips from the mittens. Make a cut on the inside. Sew them together. For decoration, cut a heart out of felt. Sew the heart on with bright red thread. Done! A mitten for two will let you always be together. Finally! You can hold his hand and keep the warmth between you alive even in the coldest weather. And now we will tell you how to turn a simple candle into something special. Cut the candle into parts. Take out the wick. Cut the candle into small pieces. Take a silicone mold in the form of hearts. Place the wicks in the cells. Pour in the pieces of wax. Melt the wax in an oven and let the candles cool. Take the candles out of the molds. You get nice candles with a touch of love. Put water in a wide glass vase. Drop rose petals on the surface. Place the candles on the petals. Light them up. Floating candles with flowers will perfectly fit into the atmosphere of romance and make your evening truly magical. For the next life hack, you will need helium balloons. Prepare some pictures of you and your partner. Attach pieces of double-sided tape to each picture. Let the balloons fly up. Attach the photographs onto the strings. The floating decorations will create the right festive atmosphere and make you and your sweetheart happy. And for the next life hack, get some foam rubber sheets and a clothespin. Cut a heart out of the foam rubber sheet. Fasten it to the clothespin with hot glue. Take two more clothespins and cut out small letters. Fasten words with hot glue. The I love you stamp is ready. With this stamp, you can easily make a very important confession. Apply paint with a brush. Make a heart stamp. Now put paint on the letters and stamp the inscription. Admitting your feelings has become much easier. If you can't confess directly, just print it with the stamp on a card. Did you like our life hacks for Valentine's Day? Which one will you use to charm your partner? And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click on the bell so you don't miss even more romantic ideas for Valentine's Day on Troom Troom Select.